<laughs> Warning, this game is not shareware. It's not intended for distribu distribution on any BBS or through any shareware or library. It could only be distributed by AppG Software. You're breaking the law if you distribute this game. Thank you, AppG Software. Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth, level 4, for, I don't know, Halloween special, maybe the start of a new Let's Play, who knows. Ah, oh, god, I love early 90s games. <laughs> this is Apogee's Monster Bash, part 1, starring Johnny Dash, a Frank Madden game. Yeah, this is a game from my childhood. Oh boy, is this a game from my childhood. Um, you know what? I was gonna jump into the game, but no. I love Apogee games. If you've seen me playing uh, Commander Keen uh, episodes four and five on my channel, you'll know that. But uh, yeah, this is a big part of my uh, childhood. I'm doing this mainly as a Halloween special, but if you guys want, I could do more episodes. You never know. Uh, but yes. Story, Johnny Dash, a name of legendary proportions, a name that strikes fear into the hearts of monsters everywhere today. But let's take a look at how this legend came to be. It was a sleepless night, a night like Johnny had never seen in his first in his short ten years. I wish the first three or four were rather fuzzy. A storm of supernatural proportions had blown into town, and the lightning flashed and showered the sky with illumination. Um, so it's small letters for me. He could sh he could swear he saw figures that were not quite human atop the distant hill. Something strange was happening. Johnny's thoughts turned to Tex, his new Dalmatian puppy had been missing for two days. He had found what was left of Tex's collar still attached to the chain in the backyard. He hoped Tex was okay out there on a night like this. The storm suddenly got worse. In a flurry of pajama feet, he leapt into the covers of his bed that had on many occasions been his shelter, but not tonight. He was a split second away from hitting the covers when he felt something hairy grab his leg and jerk him down with an unnatural force. The next thing he knew, he was under his bed looking at a pair of gleaming green eyes. But strangely, something about the eyes calmed him. Who? Who? What are you? Johnny stuttered under his breath more than more to himself than the eyes. My name and what I am is not important, the voice responded. What is important is that you must take action and take it now if you if you who live in the day would uh, world are to survive another cycle of the moon. Tex did not run away, the eyes stared. He was kidnapped! Who did this? Johnny cried as he forgot about being scared and, and his rage built inside. If it was that jungle Jill girl down the street, I'll kick her butt again! Listen carefully, the voice calmly spoke. The evil Count Chuck, ruler of the underworld, has been preparing an army to take over this day or the day world. He is sending his henchmen into the into the day world to steal many dogs and cats. His plan is to transform these pets into monsters that will do his bidding. Johnny, Chuck knows that you have the greatest love of all of your pet of all for your pets, so he has hidden Tex in his own lair. The only person with love enough to free your Tex and all the other pets of the world is you, Johnny. Before this storm is over and the portal is closed, you must go to Underworld and stop Chuck. But how do I get there, and how will I fight off the monsters, asked Johnny. The large green eyes looked towards the closet door, then an old wooden slingshot and a small rock appeared before you. Take these, commanded the voice. Place this rock in your pajama pocket, and your pocket will never go empty. But, but, stammered Johnny. Stammered Johnny. Enough talk, the voice growled. You will find a furry friend, Mr. Lloyd, among along the way who comes and goes at will through the underworld and the day world. Go now and make haste, the storm is already fading. The eyes blinked themselves out of existence. Johnny, mad as heck about Tex and other pets, launched himself through the closet door and into the adventure he'll never forget. Bum bum bum. Yeah, and there's instructions and things like that, but let's just get into the game, how about that? Um, yeah, for this, I guess we'll play on medium. I'm a glutton for punishment. So yeah, this is an early 90s Apogee game, uh, you know, much like uh, Cosmos Cosmic Adventure, uh, yeah, to exit level free all the dogs and cats. Uh, Cosmos Cosmic Adventure, uh, obviously Commander Keen, uh, the Duke Nukem games were old Apogee, but anyway, controls are very simple, left, right, down is crouch, up doesn't, up is just target upwards, uh, jump is the control button, and shoot is the alt button, that's pretty much it. 
Uh, you just have to shoot the cages of the dogs and cats to let them out. You cannot climb or anything. Don't feed the zombies. And uh, in the upper left corner, you see there is a health bar. I just opened up my... Yeah, oh, sorry. Just accidentally pressed the uh, menu button. I have to... Alright, so yeah, you see all these uh, spears here are, they hurt you, so don't don't touch those. And obviously, like any early 90s game, points, 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 collectibles, they don't do anything. I guess they can give you lives if you get enough. Ow. But, um, yeah, points. Oh, it's a zombie, and yeah, you can get these power-ups here that give you cool stuff. This power-up, for instance, gives you a triple shot. Yeah, and the zombies, uh, by the way, the, the walking zombies anyway, uh, when you kill them, their heads fall off and roll at you, and they can do damage too, so be careful. Uh, as you can see, the power-ups have a limited amount of ammo. Don't- ah! So, yeah, don't, like, use them up, use them up, use them up. Um, I just want to go up here first to get these. Ow. Yeah, and you're supposed to fall down like over there and then crouch underneath all these. You don't actually have to fall down, it doesn't lead to anything, but the way to get out is to go up through here. Can you tell I've played this game before? Um... There we go. <laughs> you just hit the skulls and they do that, it's, it's really funny. Um, don't fall down these holes. I mean, one of them leads to a good place, I guess, but... Um... Yeah, it, you can get really hurt if you fall down the other two. You actually kind of die. But, um... Yeah, let's fall down this one, though. I got hit, and I almost died, but here we get a life. You are not going to find a lot of those uh, in this game. You just have to hit these treasure chests enough, and they give you manis. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, aside from that, is there... Okay, yes, the way out. I think the other way there might have been more points, but yeah, uh, as with a lot of other Apogee games, there's secret paths and lives are very hard to come by. The best way to get lives is to collect uh, points or, yeah, this game is just points. Um, yeah, if you see you press enter, it goes to think. The cool uh, thing is that it has a, a compass that points you to the nearest pet, which not a lot of games would have, but that's kind of required for this game, so. Yeah, see his head was there. And I love it. Um, see, so yeah, this game has a lot of memories for me. I mean, yeah, those hands you can't kill, by the way. Ow. Ow. Okay, you know what? Let's just get out of here. Uh, you can break some of these. Um, this game has a lot of uh, memories for me. I <clears throat> I played a lot of RPG games um, in my childhood. Also, <clears throat> if you notice... Um, the, uh, the rocks bounce off the walls, so that's something if you want to try to, you know, attack enemies without actually going down there. Oh, they didn't say anything. Wow, my reflexes are really bad here. Blah! I love it. I love it! Uh, come on. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. And obviously the hearts give you health back. Yay! Uh, there are going to be other uh, power-ups aside from the triple shot, but right now that's all we get. This is the first level after all. And yeah, um, secrets are, are awesome in this game. Um, <clears throat> you essentially fall down here. Nice thing about this game also, there's no fall damage. Uh, if you fall from a tall height, you just get stunned for a minute, but that's it. Also checkpoints. Yeah, that guy, when I was practicing this, that guy snuck up on me, and yeah. Um, most games, like Commander Keen, Cosmos, Cosmic Adventure, like I said, um, they, uh, you know, you can really, like, do whatever you want in the level as long as you get to the end, but this game really makes you, like, search it, in, oh, search it in order to find the, um, <clears throat> all the hidden animals. So, it's a nice feature. Come on. Come on. No? Okay, come on. Must have gotten at that. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is all of a sudden closing up, but I also like how you just like jump into the walls and you're just like, Arr. but yeah. 
Um, it is possible. Ah, dang it! I pressed the menu button again. Um, it is possible to to beat this game without like getting hurt, or at least beat this like most of the areas here without getting hurt. But like, you have to be really careful and slow and methodical, and that's just not fun. You also kind of have to know what's coming, and you know most people don't. Okay, so one second. Yeah, up here there's like an entire ceiling of these skulls. Um, I don't remember. I I think that there is a um. One second. There we go. Uh, I think that there's a bonus for getting all the skulls in the level, but I don't remember. I mean, well, obviously, there we go. Yeah, fifty thousand points. That is awesome. Also, hit that button, and you get a ladder on the way out. And now I have to go all the way down and remember where all the spikes are so we don't stab ourselves and get... There we go, Dobie. Good job. You did exactly what you said you're not supposed to do. You're so clever, Dobie. You're just so clever. And yeah, let's watch his climbing animation. Do 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 This game, I don't think, has as good music as, let's say, Cosmos Cosmic Adventure or... Commander Keen. Let's have a drinking game. Oh, I'm sorry, I have the mouse on the screen. Dovey. Uh, let's have a drinking game. Every time I say Commander Keen or Cosmos Cosmic Adventure, you take a drink. I guarantee in about five minutes you'll all be dead. Whoa! Um, but yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, he was... He was trying to get us. Haha! -ha! Okay. Um, and yes, the game will tell you when you get all the animals in the level. Like that! And yeah, then you just have to get to the exit, and that's it. It's a pretty simple concept. Um, then it has your time and the par time, and you get 50,000 uh, point bonus for getting the par time, but obviously I didn't. Um, yeah. The, I don't know, the cool thing is that... Or not the cool thing, uh, it's the fun thing. Yeah, those aren't actual skulls. Oh, 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 I totally forgot that was an enemy. Ah! Wow. Um, just the, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, the, the levels do get harder, obviously. The, the placement of, yeah, this is a homing missile. The placement of the enemies are quite a bit more. That's actually nice. It doesn't, it doesn't activate. I keep forgetting about that, too. It doesn't activate unless you, the rockets don't activate unless there's actually an enemy there. Um, but yeah, the, the animal placement gets harder and harder, obviously, and, um, I mean, these games, like, they start off easy and they're fun, but, like, they can get really hard at the end, but, again, that's the 90s, the glorious Apogee 90s of my youth, um, should be 1801 to 1923, wow, that guy lived a long time, look at that, 122 years old, you know? That that is that is a life, that is a long life. Um, yeah, those these guys don't really count as enemies. They're more like a I don't know, collectible of sorts. Okay, let's take a long jump and jump. That not even close. Ow. Uh, now hopefully there's no animals up there. If there is, well obviously I have to go back and get it. But until then. Yeah, sometimes the jumps are really hard to make. Uh, hopefully we can... There we go. Oh! Dang it! Game! Candy. Oh wow, okay, it can just... Oh, and that was... I could have I made that jump. Okay, come on. Come on. This is, I, I guess it would be a, a comparable thing. I don't want to die here. Please, please don't kill me, game. Oh, okay, you know what? If there's an animal there, I'll have to go back. But until then, I'm just jumping over this way. Yeah, and you can go in here. Yay. Oh! 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 At least the, the death animation, or the death sound is funny. Just a drum will... Yeah. Well, that sucks. Oh, aha! And now I have to watch all the walls. Oh, okay, so it's the light-colored 
ones that hurt you. Uh-huh. Ow. Awesome. Missed that one. Come on. There we go. Okay, so go under that. And over that. And under that. And over that. Ha-ha! And over that. I have to, like, pay attention now. Oh, right, I still have the rockets. Why do I feel like that owl's gonna hurt me? I don't like owls. They scary. They scary. Oh! But yeah, um, I was thinking of, so, so getting back to my, like, the very beginning of the episode, I wanted to do a Halloween special. Why not? Truth, truth be told, I just bought this game yesterday, and I was like, yeah, I love this game. Because I was like, oh, I was all like, YOLO. No, I wasn't actually like that, thankfully. I don't suffer from YOLO disease. Um, yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay, so there's one right up over there. Crawling. Ha ha! Come on, and get that. Is there anything up there? There's nothing up there, okay. But, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to do a Halloween special, and this is a game I don't see a lot done. I mean, John Tron did an episode, but it was pretty much how hard the game was, uh, which, I mean, it was funny, it was a funny video, but, like, yes, the game is hard, but it's not like, it's not like, oh my god, blah, 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 you know? He was, he was being a bit dramatic. Whoa! Okay, oh, okay, I was like, why didn't I have the thing on before? Yeah, good luck with that. Ow! Yeah, take that, you jerk. Just to keep an eye out for- Oh, yeah, the boulders, that's right. Awesome. Uh, the boulders are very fun. He. <laughs> yeah, essentially the boulders are a giant rock. Uh, obviously, but... Uh, that splits off into, like, smaller rubble as you, uh, as you go along. Haha! Uh -huh. So, where are you? Haha! Uh -huh. Yeah, see? Oh, I got the cat too. And a life! Hey, <laughs> You know, sometimes, like... What does that say? Bruce? I don't know. Uh, sometimes, like, if you get, like, a lot of these skulls at once, they go like, ah, like a whole chorus. It's hilarious. Yeah. And jump over you. Okay. I don't like games that make me, like, have to inspect the background like this. <laughs> I don't need this kind of stress, you know? Whee! Okay, come on. Whee! I'm pretty sure this is the way out. Do do do. Okay. Uh huh. And jump over that. And jump over that. Aha! Okay, that almost killed me. Wow, these guys take a lot of hits. <laughs> it's, oh, oh, aha! Uh, you thought you would get me with that, didn't you? Okay, you now let's let's go from back here. Okay, good. I'm I'm actually like using strategy with these. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can do this, Dovey. Yeah, there's. We're gonna have to get up on all these scaffoldings eventually. Ah, oh, dang it! Where's the? Oh, the checkpoint's not too far away. Oh, there's a boulder power up over there. Don't think I can reach that though. Ow! Don't think I can reach it though. Stop it, Dovey! Gosh, I feel like getting hit by everything today. Do 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 do. Yeah, the music. I don't know. It repeats a lot, but but it can get. Oh, it's, it's, it's usually pretty good. It's the ambiance and all that. Yeah, that's what I say, cat. 
It's gonna be a point where we're gonna be okay. Yeah. So here we get up on the trees. <laughs> and uh, well, yeah. I think that the door. Oh. Ah! Dang it! How many lives do I have left? I have two lives left. Okay. At least they gave you a lot of lives. I'm sure they're cheats for this game, but I'm not going to go for them right now. Uh, yeah. There's the hand over there. Uh. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, there's a ladder up over this way. I'm pretty sure the exit is somewhere around here. Not that we can go in yet, but still. We have to use our animal love. Oh! Yeah, you saw that broom over there? Oh, come on. Oh, no! Oh, and of course there was a snake over there. I also like they put the skull over here. It's just kind of funny. Oh, all the pets are free. Nice. Okay, I thought that I would have to do a heck of a lot more backtracking. Cool, awesome. Cool, awesome. Yeah, I, I could go over, all the way over to the left and start, like, you know, doing all that stuff, but I don't trust my skills enough, <laughs> honestly. Honestly. Urgh. No. Come on. Maybe I can go from here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Dang it. <laughs> yeah. It's one thing with early 90s games is the platforming kind of sucks. Especially if this guy, he like slides around and stuff. Uh huh, where am I going? I'm going up here. Okay. I don't think that's where I was supposed to go. Maybe I'm just supposed to jump off to the left over there, but. Okay, fine. Let's just go. Please land on something. Oh! <sighs> Let's try that again. Let's climb that. No. Yeah. Let's get up here. Get up. Get up here. And jump. Okay. For some reason, you can't really go like make a running jump when you're climbing up uphill in this game. Er. Come on! Yeah, okay. Uh, I think there are enemies up here though, maybe. Oh, there's a heart. Aha! Aha! Okay, more of you guys. Oh. Okay, let's try to make that. Oh, okay. Let's try to make the jump over here. Uh, of course not. At least I didn't, like, jump right on top of those things. One thing that this game does not have is the ability to look up. Which is kind of annoying. Because the other games that I mentioned for the drinking game have that feature. It said that, okay, so the hints for the levels say that some of the logs are hollow. And you can crawl on them. I don't know what that means, but... Let's, I guess, try looking for hollow logs. And not dying. Oh wow, I completely missed that guy. I'm glad he missed me too. Oh! Aho! Uh that is a hollow log. But is that where the level end is? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I see what you did there, game. You clever, clever girl. And, okay, so that's two ep two video- two episodes, two boards. Uh, I should have- I should have thought of that, actually. But, uh, yeah, two boards, and, uh, we've been doing this for a while. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this. I would be happy to record more. This is a fun game. And it's going to get really tough, and you can see me get really upset at things. Also, my health is restored. I'm so happy. So yeah, this has been Several Total 4 with Monster Bash, starring Johnny Dash. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.